Hi everyone, it's Julie with The Q Coach, and I'm gonna go a little off topic today and talk about uh, something more training specific, which I don't normally do, um, because we're more about all the humans and the mental management side of things. Um, but I'm all high on the draft webinar we had last night, and so I just can't help myself. Um, we started talking about puppies, and uh, we talked about what we can be doing with puppies even before they are old enough, i.e. their growth plates have closed, um, enough that we can be adding weight or doing maybe real work with them. Um, and so I wanna give you a couple ideas that you can be doing with puppies. The first thing is walk the puppies uh, next to the cart. Um, I know that when I'm working one dog, I will take a puppy with me and have them on my other side and they get to see a dog working, they get to hear the cart bounce around, they get to maybe hear the weights. Um, we know that dogs learn from watching other dogs, so they're learning like this is a normal activity. They're getting treats, they're seeing the other dogs getting rewarded for working. So get them used to cart life, right? That this isn't gonna be a normal part of their world. Um, the other thing you can do is start to build that rear end awareness. I do that by teaching them to step in between shafts. I also do it by having them uh, put their back feet on maybe exercise equipment or stairs or inside like one of those um, like tomato crates, I think of those tomato boxes that are kind of shallow, like maybe four inches high that you can find at farmer's markets right now. And I teach them to put their front feet in, their back feet in, and kind of know where their body is. Uh, because we know that our big dogs, our burners, our newfies, um, they're, where their back end changes uh, seemingly every month. And some of our dogs are not really full grown until maybe they're three. So think about it. They're like tall, gangly, high school basketball players at this point, um, and their bodies are changing so keep working that rear end awareness and letting them know where they are um, maybe relative to the shafts relative to a box um, and then once they're in between the shafts another thing you can do is practice all of their other things practice sits and downs and stands and back up a few steps and step forward a few steps and sit pretty and uh, high fives and all of those things and teach them that even though they're quote confined between these shafts they actually can do everything that you ask them to do and they start to feel more and more comfortable for some of you you may have to bend the shafts outward a little bit to give them some more room um, for others of you that won't be an issue depending on the size of your dog so you're teaching them really great foundation you're teaching them that standing between the shafts is a highly rewarded place to be right because you're using treats uh, shaping it however you're getting that done um, so they learn to like to work right they learn that getting the cart out means treats and work and I get to think and that's my job um, the next thing of course that I do is I teach them to work the entire freight hall uh, or not freight hall rather the whole test from uh, freight hall all the way back to harness and hitch uh, without the cart I think that sometimes we rush through those things once we put them in the cart we think uh, then we'll train those behaviors we'll teach them to wait for a stranger or to be petted or to back up or to go through narrows and my point is why not teach them without the cart so I teach everything on the flat first. Um, I teach them the way I'm gonna cue the turns from left to right. I teach them how they're gonna line up for narrows. I let them see what the picture's gonna look like, for instance, uh, greeting strangers, uh, taking something from somebody, all of it. Think about it. We should be doing it without the cart first. And we can be doing that when they're young, 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 young. So even when we think, ah, oh, it's too early to put them in the cart, or is it too early to put them even in an empty cart? When in doubt, just do it without the cart. Um, and then that way, when you finally add the cart, first of all, they'll have seen it so darn much, they're like, meh, whatever, cart, this is what we do in this house. Um, but also, they'll already know all the things. So when you ask them to back up, when you ask them uh, to uh, line up for narrows, listen to you, aim, whatever, um, it'll all be old hat. So go ahead and do all that. And then finally, on adding weight, you know, I think there's a reason that we don't um, ask our burners to test before they're two years old. Uh, for me, that's growth plates. So um, I, I think that you really need to hold off into adding too much weight before those growth plates close. So um, I'll probably put my dog in a cart, you know, maybe a year, 18 months, but it's empty for a very long time until those growth plates close. Um, even 20 pounds, I think, uh, depending on the dog, depending on the structure, depending, 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 uh, can be a lot of weight. So when in doubt, take it slow. If then this growth plate's closed, say 20 months-ish, you have plenty of time to train for that first novice test, even if you're going out on their 
second birthday. So take your time, have fun, and go play with those puppies in the cart. Have a great day, thanks.